Hello everybody, this is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. In this week's video, we're gonna cover how do you filter logical tables in Tableau? So new feature alert, uh, this just came out with Tableau 2025.1. Um, so you will need to be updated to that version to be able to leverage this, all right? Um, so let me walk you through this. I could have used this in a couple of different projects uh, that I've had to do, uh, use custom SQL for to be able to do this sort of thing. So I'm very excited that this is finally out and to get a chance to use this on some upcoming client projects. Um, okay, so for uh, one scenario where you may wanna use this. So I've got my sample superstore orders data, and I have just uh, joined this to a made-up uh, regional manager table. Now, the situation here is that uh, each of these different tables, um, or sorry, this table specifically lists multiple managers per region because like, hey, Mark Kotze was the manager of the central region on January 1st, 2023. But as of April 1st, or 2024, Michael Jordan became the manager of that region, right? Uh, so, there's a bit of an issue with the way this table is set up because if I just strictly relate this as I've done here, I've said, hey, you know, link up the order and the manager's table on region equals region. And then I try and visualize this and be like, cool, whose region has sold the most? Well, the central region has had three managers over this time period. So each of them is showing up as $501,000. Um, so I can think of a couple different ways you'd want to do this. You might want to say, you know, uh, who is the current manager. That's what we're going to tackle is like, well, right now, Cal Raleigh is the manager. So I just want to see Central, Cal Raleigh. They've had $501,000 in sales. Uh, now, you may want to do some sort of historical thing where you're like, well, who, you know, how much was sold in this region when Michael Jordan was the manager? Now, that's a little bit of a different beast. That would be fun to tackle too, where you could say like a start date and an end date and, and do some joins based on that. A little beyond what we're doing today. So let's just say we wanted to say region, current manager, what has the sales been in that region, right? But uh, but how do you do that, right? Because, you know, I can't just say, um, I don't know, I guess <laughs> maybe the way I set it up, I could just say filter on 2025, but that next year, 2026, like it's not gonna hold up. I'd have to come back and change that. So what I wanna tell Tableau to do is, hey, just find the latest record per region and just give me the manager uh, based on that latest record per region, right? Um, now, there's not like really a quick, easy way to do that exactly. So what I'm going to do is check this out. I am going to write a calculated field. And how would I say keep just the latest value per region? I'm thinking of a fixed expression. That's what comes to mind for me. So I will say like, uh, you know, current manager record TF for true, false. Okay. <clears throat> so then let me do this. Then I would say, okay, fixed on the region field give me the max, um, and there was a date, what was the date field called? I guess it was called year, it probably was supposed to be called like effective date or something, but I think I screwed that up. So there you go. So fixed on the region, what is the max uh, of the year? Let me just make sure that is what it is. Yeah, it does say year. All right, well, that's on me. Um, and does that equal the year field? Okay, so what is what the heck did I just do here? So what I'm saying is, look at each region, tell me what the max year is, the max value there. So if you looked at the central region, you'd say, okay, we've got these three values. What is the maximum of these three values? That would be February 1st, 2025. And then you'd say, okay, well, for central, does this value equal February 1st, 2025? No. Does this one? No. Does this one? Yes, it does. And then it would go through each of the four regions and, and run that. Um, so if I said, okay, uh, just check this out right here. If I throw this on the worksheet, you would see there should be one true per region, right? Maybe it's easier to see if I do it like this. Okay, so we should come up with Cal Raleigh, Sandra Bullock, John Hamm, and Steve Perry. All right. So back to our data source, what I can do now is add a filter based on that calculation that I just wrote. So I would say, okay, current manager record, true, false. I say, okay. I say, true. I say, okay. And then, oh, interesting. Okay, so in this case, it's just offering to uh, allow this based on all related tables. Now, that may be um, just because I have used a fixed expression. Let's we'll actually do a little test on that. But if I say, okay, right, I will see, cool. Like, it's just going to keep these values. Now, if I pop over here, it should just show me my four managers. Um, now, like I said, I, I actually was curious to see... Um, that it only allowed us to do it 
on all tables. So let me try a different approach here, which is what if we had just said, does the year of that field called year equal 2025? Okay, so I'll call this 2025 manager true false. I did notice that this populated in the manager section, which is already giving me a vibe that it'll probably let me apply to just a single table. Let me remove what we did previously, say 2025 manager true false. And then what I could do here is say, okay, true. And then what do I want this to apply to? Do I want this to apply to managers and related tables or just managers, right? So if there was some scenario like, I'm just going to make something up here, but let's say there was a region that didn't have a manager. Um, if if I had to apply this to the entirety of the data source, then we would just lose that region's data. Or if, if that region um, had not had the manager change in 2025, we would just lose that. But by being able to say, only apply this to the manager's table, I can effectively filter this table without you know, losing data out of this table that I really would want. So if I say, okay, pop back over here, I'm actually getting the same result in this scenario, uh, but I was able to apply it to just one of the tables without applying it to the entirety of the data source. So like I said, this is a very new feature, but I'm really excited to see how people use it and how it's helpful. Cause like I've said in the past, you know, if you have an older version of Tableau, you may need to use custom SQL um, to do that same level of filtering. So um, cool. Thank you for checking this out. If you need help from us in any way, you're always welcome to comment. But we also do have office hours where you can just book a one-on-one -on -one session with us to work on your most pressing issues, whether that's data source filtering or data preparation, visualization, calculations, whatever. We do it all. Um, so uh, let us know there. And then we do videos like this every week. So feel free to come back and subscribe. And uh, we hope to help you with another one. And let us know in the comments if this helped. If it didn't, uh, if you have a suggestion for a future video, we'd love to hear that too. So thanks so much. Talk to you soon.